on one hand, we say that, you know, a lot of these women are, they're grown women, they're responsible, they make their own decisions. If they want to go ahead and have a friends with benefits situation or a cuffing season situation for the winter or whatever, they're grown and mature enough to be able to handle that, especially if everyone's being upfront, no one's lying, everybody's being honest about what it is. Um, we say that, that they can do that. But then on the other hand, we're talking about the pair bonding and we're talking about how a lot of these women will pair bond with the guy, even though they know what it is, they know what the situation is, they know it's a situation, should they know it's not going anywhere, there's no plans for it to go any further, but yet they end up getting wide open, they end up falling in love, and now they pair a bond with you or that guy, and you know that guy can't do no wrong at that point. And then what ends up happening is that the season ends, he goes one way, she goes the other way, she knows consciously what the arrangement was. She understands it, but in here and spiritually, in her heart and then spiritually, it's toe up. It's toe up. And then when she does get with, you know, her future husband or whoever or the, the guy she gets engaged with or what have you, he's having a hard time connecting because her body is still responding to you. Her, her spirit is still responding to you. She's still wide open when she's around your energy and around you. And she might even take your lead over somebody else because that's, it's all about when, when you guys connected. It's all about how you guys connected and how she viewed you. Because in reality, the only reason why she's with the other guy is because you let her go anyway. Because because that dude wouldn't exist if you stuck with her she wasn't gonna go no damn way so we gotta figure out which answer is it is it that they're strong and responsible and they make their own decisions and they grow women or they don't know what they're getting into some half the time they don't know what they're getting into half the time like i'm not i don't even play today stronger so I, mm -hmm. I don't even give people that benefit of the doubt i'm too, always too emotional that. Emotional beings, all that. It's going to reset. No matter how, like, people reset to their default settings when you hit the right, um, <laughs> when you hit the right button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you hit the right button, people, people default yeah. to their they factory settings. So mm -hmm. you just got to assume they all operate on factory settings to protect yourself from the crazy stuff she may do and to protect her from going through it with you. Because, like, these, these women. So I, when I'm thinking about this, this is a, like a perfect example of this. So I had a leasing agent uh, at the real estate company who beautiful girl. I'm talking about like she like Maya, beautiful little girl, right? The singer Maya, you know what I'm talking about? Beautiful, right? Her her baby daddy was hustling or whatever. Um, the police like raided the house and it was cracking the house. She ended up taking a case for him because he was on papers at the time in order for him not to get uh, violated and have to do the remainder of the, the previous sentence. He ended up cheating on her and leaving her for another girl. That girl is, per she permanently has not like gotten another relationship because she tried to do everything she could to hold somebody down and it backfired on her. So when people move through life with scenarios like that in their forefront, they, you it's going to be hard for them to fully connect when it just went that bad being down for somebody that hard. Like, yeah, shout out to her. She's still a beautiful person, but like inside and out. But that's just, I, I, I just remember thinking like, buddy, fuck that up. That, you know, he really fucked that up for you. Yeah, that's sad. That's sad. I initially thought the guy in the video was being a little dramatic when it came to any time anybody engages in sex. It's, you, it's because you're broken and that other person is broken and everybody's just broken if you're having sex outside of wedlock. I really, really thought he was being, um, I think he was over-exaggerating. I thought he was being dramatic um, because two grown people can can make decisions and, 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 and engage in, in, you know, some type of sexual, you know, relationship or situation and then part ways and, and be mature about it and whatnot. I highly believe in that. But the same token, based on what we were saying about parabonding and the story you just gave, Marcus, um, 
I think there's a little more truth to it. I think there is, you can easily damage somebody. You can easily hurt somebody's spirit. You can hurt somebody's soul because when you are having sex with somebody consistently like that on the regular, um, you guys are, you are exchanging like, not only sexual energy, but spiritual energy as well, too. So we can't ignore that and pretend like that's just that's just fake, especially if you're not using any type of contraceptives either. Like you're really connecting on multiple levels through the chakras and all that kind of stuff. So um, I think cuffing season and all this stuff just, just come with a warning label, you know, um, and, and just be cautious with who you connect with. And I think we need to, all of us, all of us brothers out here, you know, if you're single or what have you, um, just need to uh, move with more intention and be more intentional with the partners that you decide to, uh, to, you know, share your body with or share your bed with or share your time with at the end of the day. Yeah, I think as men, that's our responsibility. Like we, I know people push for equality and all this stuff, but at the end of the day, them default settings still exist. When you pull back the layers, it's always going to go back to the default setting. We have to be more responsible and intentional to not mess these women up. No the, the city girl, the city girl we see today wasn't always a city girl. Something happened. Thanks. Go ahead, Trey. So I know earlier we, we kind of talked about um, broken people and they should get healing, but I'd say that there's very few of us who are self-aware enough to even realize when we're broken to even acknowledge that so we can even do anything about it. You kind of find that out when you start to deal with another partner, but even then it's hard to accept that it's you that there's a problem with. So that's, that's the first thing. As far as cuffing season, right? Um, I feel like when you're doing this because of a season, it, it kind of sounds like despair to me right now. Just imagine like anything that you operate on with despair is going to lead to some serious issues. It's going to be problematic. So let's just say you need money, but it, you're desperate now. Right. You're operating in despair. You need money. You're not going to accumulate the money the same way that you would you can't just sit here and do your nine to five now you need this amount of money right now so you're going to operate in despair and you're probably going to make some poor decisions behind it and i feel like that applies to relationships as well it shouldn't be because it's a season that just sounds like a horrible deal to me right you, you're going to be rushing in you're uh, you're desperately looking for something and i think that could always present a problem 